Okay guys, I'm back here today with a new RC to the collection. I know I've been gone for a while guys, and I haven't been doing videos for a really long time, too long. Um, I actually ended up getting out of the hobby for a little bit, taking a little hiatus, but I'm back now. I'm gonna start doing videos. My Instagram's still been kinda going a little, if you guys are following that, but. Uh, this is my new car, uh, starting off little, but this little guy, is going to be what builds up RC Evolution, making it bigger than ever. I know I'm at around 190 subscribers right now, guys. Uh, I've been gaining more since I stopped making videos than I was while I was making them. So, back here today with a new car and its first upgrade. Guys, this is the little guy I picked up from a local guy around here. Little XL 2.5 brushed Traxxas slash... 4x4, 1 16th scale. Um, and my original plan was to get a Mini E Revo, but I couldn't find any for my price range. I got this thing really cheap, guys. Um, all works except for the servo starting to strip. Not too big of a deal. I'm picking up a new one of those here right quick. And it came ready to run. It uh, came with a nice little Venom 2S LiPo. Pretty much brand new 2S LiPo. The guy only ran it twice. Mm. 2000 milliamp 20C two cell lipo, not bad. Fits perfectly in there. Should be great for this little Titan, a 380 size motor. But time to get into the upgrade. So, as you can see, this cap is off because this is what it came with HPI RF1, 27 megahertz transmitter receiver. That long antenna out of here. Got. Here's the transmitter, eight batteries, one of those big old ones. But when I ended up uh, getting out of it, I did end up keeping my Spectrum DX4C. So as my first upgrade, I'm gonna be throwing in the SR201 receiver I have and hooking it up to this. So guys, let's get into this quick little installation. Okay guys, so I already went ahead, pulled out, scraped all the tape off of there. You can see you've got the ESC and servo plugged into channel 1 and 2. All I'm going to do is take my SR201 receiver here. But since this is a Traxxas, I'm going to have to end up trimming off the edges. But ESC into channel 2. If you have Spectrum, there is a throttle port at the very top. That's where you want to put it. And steering for the servo is the one right below it. Okay guys, well I had a little issue there. I had to end up trimming off the little Traxxas edges with some body scissors. And then, it was so small I couldn't show you this part. This is a couple times I've redone it. I ended up having to jack it up on this uh, truck stand just because it's so dang tiny. I mean, it's just, I didn't even know they were this small. I'd never seen one in person. But, damn, they're tiny. Um, so, as you can see there, I got throttle or steering. ESC on top. There's a th third little port there. It says bind. You can't see it on camera, but it's where the bind plug goes. I'm going to go ahead, slide that in there to that third port. Get the bat, get the transmitter. So you got, after you've done that, you're just going to have to push down uh, kind of at an angle slide it into the little clip that's under there push it down the reason i didn't do it off camera because i was actually have or i did it off camera because i was actually having some trouble with it you have to pull the wires get as much of the wire inside the box as possible otherwise it binds up down there and you can't get it on after that you're going to install one screw on each side to hold it down right now i do not have the proper size screw not want to strip out the chassis hole so that's how it's going to stay for now so, let's go ahead. Okay, so go ahead, turn it on. Servo works, steering. Let's check that off. There we go. As you can see, the uh, wheel's going like that. That is actually from the servo starting to strip, I believe. If you guys know anything else that would cause that that will save me from replacing the servo, please let me know. 
But other than that, guys, it's all finished for now. I'm going to be replacing the servo brush and brushless system eventually. Going to go all out on this thing. RPM, this thing's going to be a sturdy little basher. But I was just going to talk to you guys a little bit on what my plans are. Okay, so overall my plans are, were originally to get a mini E-Revo, as I said earlier in the video, but I couldn't afford it, so I picked up this. My overall plan is once I get this running perfectly, so servo, that's it, it runs great besides that, I'll be going ahead and picking up the bumpers, the wing mount, the body, wheels and tires, to turn this into an E-Revo, guys, um, mini E-Revo, a little Merv. If you didn't catch that on the transmitter already, the name is Merv, and that's not just some weird name, it's Mini E Revo. Um, I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna give this truck a name. Uh, guys, you, I'm thinking of green and black, so if you guys can give me a name, any options for a name this, for this particular RC, I'm gonna be sticking with it. I promise you guys I've said that before, and I haven't done it, haven't been true to my word about a lot of stuff on this channel as far as keeping RCs and whatnot goes, but I promise you guys, final time, this is going to be the car that starts off everything once again. Going to be going to bashing more so than uh, racing. It just became more of a hassle than really, it kind of took the fun out of it. I got too competitive with it. I'm a super competitive person if you didn't know that already. I know Brian over at Extreme RC knows that probably better than anyone. Uh, but just going to have some fun with this. Really fill, building a few other uh, RCs in the future. Mostly Traxxas's. But if you guys have any cars you really want to see. Or you, you think is just a cool car you want me to maybe go over at some point. Make sure you leave in the comments. I may not get it right away. But I may eventually go over it. And guys. Hope you had a great Easter. And if you don't celebrate Easter. Hope you just had a great weekend. But guys. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for sticking with me guys. All the support. And, oh yeah, and if you do come up with a name and I do pick your name, if you, I will give you a shout out. And if you have a, ch and if you have a YouTube channel, I will leave a link to your channel in the description. But that's only if your name ends up being the name I pick. So guys, thanks for watching. I'll be awkward and not know what to say. Okay.